Hey everyone, my name is Brinvia and welcome to a little game called Moment to Midnight. I found this on SIRO. I was just scrolling through looking for new games to play and we found this. I found this, it was it looked really cool. Like it's so colourful as well. That this is my eye. <laughs> Alright, listen. You listening? Yeah. Little characters are oh, cute. Ah, still alive, hmm? I was afraid we lost you for a moment. So perhaps it would have been better if we had. After all, you've been stripped of everything. I thought I gave you that first gift, anyway. I suppose one more wouldn't hurt. I can't be too generous, though. You'll understand why. I think being able to proceed would be best for now. Proceed. Whoa. Okay. Blue characters are so cute though. Flustered voice. Hey idiot! Can't you see where you're going? Whoa. Ah, my vase. It's all in tiny little pieces. Well, you broke it. Go fetch a new one from the merchant to the east. Whoa. Hmm, got a question? Is it you? Oh, I saw your little plunder with the lady. Wants you to get a new one, eh? Lucky for you, she paid for a year's worth in advance. Just hold your hands out and... Uh... There! Perfect! Good, now return to her, a valiant warrior. Ah, damn it. Hmm, you got a question? Oh, uh, that's a bird maker. Okay. Go over here. You ever miss the bells per peel? No. Ah, wonderful. It's identical to the one you smashed. So much for being one of a kind. Tell me, what is your name? Oh, don't be shy. You can speak, can't you? Um, l list? Hmm. It's my name, List. Well, nice to meet you, List. Thank you for running that little errand for me. What were you in such a hurry for, anyway? I need to get to Clock's Tower. Clock's, Clock Tower's Peak. Ah, another stranger after our local prophecy, are you? Prophecy? It's a bunch of nonsense, if you ask me. If you really want to know more, feel free to ask around. Yeah, it's a bit loud. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. Probably oh, it's super loud for you guys, too. There we go. Um, no wonder. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry. The ring, the toll, the chime, every hour on the hour. Used to be used to really get under my skin, but now I kind of miss it. Now I just gaze at it for what I can only assume is ours. Whoa! It is so pleasing to look at. Ah, damn it! What's the matter, my brother? He's always staring at the tower like that. He barely m moves from that spot, stopping only to eat. I thought, maybe it's me. Maybe I'm the one who will climb that tower and summon the beast. That'll break him out of his trance for sure. But no, of course, I couldn't even find my way up. What a bunch of crap. A bit is not even a way to the top. 
creature. Hmm, got a question? What's with this? Illness. Oh, everyone's just itching to know that. It all started when the clock stopped. Is it broken? Uh, nah, nah, nah. It's not like that. Every cog, every gear, they're all in place, so they stay. But it just won't tick. Any clock at all, really, if it's supposed to tell the time, it refuses to work. Something right. something right spooky in it. Let's go this way, I think there's someone over here. First person we talk to. Oh, they're not even there anymore! Little frog, I think it was. Can I jump? Nope, can't jump. Right, let's talk to the merchant. Tell you, Tishins, I saw you give that lady her replacement vest. So, what can I do for you? What's this about a prophecy? Ho oh, ho ho ho, after the local gossip, are we? Such a fascinating story. Supposedly. Supposedly, a great winged beast will appear, and restore what this world has lost. I prefer it won't happen on its own. But I hear all sorts of things, oh ho ho. Well, hello. Excuse me? Sleeping. Excuse me! Ah! What's the danger? Where's the danger? When's the danger? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm just... I really need to get to that tower. And you were in the way. Oh! <laughs> My mistake, go on through. Hell yeah. Oh, it's a bunny! How cute! My mum always asks me to make friends with other kids. But those three just burn my biscuits. Hehehehe. <laughs> ha oh, it's a wizard! Yes. Okay. Can't talk to the wizard dude. This is so pleasing to look at, man. I'm afraid I can't lead you further east. Everything beyond this point has halted. I need to get to the top of the clock tower, actually. <laughs> that one right over there? Right over here? What's stopping you from simply... Well, whatever the case. If you're having trouble, you might wish to speak to the old man to the west. He knows a lot more about the tower than me. Okay, so the old man. The wizard. Talk to the wizard. Hello, wizard. Hello, stranger. Hello. Say... Seeing as you're directly in front of me, would you help me out? While you were over there, the small scoundrels went and took my glasses. Be sure you weren't wearing them before. Well, I'm not always wearing them. Anyway, if you find out who they were, teach him a lesson for me, would you? I think I'm comfortable fighting children. Oh heavens no! I don't ask that of people anymore. Just play their little game, and I'm sure they'll hand it over. Okay, these guys. Take the old dude's glasses. I mean, those glasses are probably there in the glasses stash. Glasses stash. Oh, you want the old man's glasses? They didn't play with us. Play? Come on, don't be a, be a stick in the muck. It'll be fun. So, well, we do. Speak to the four of us in the correct order. Four. I'm not playing. Yeah, you are. No, I'm not. Fine. Speak to the three of us in the right order. And we'll give you the glasses back. Don't talk to me first. I don't like being in the middle. 
Always pick one over the other two or both. Okay, good. That's who we're both okay with. What do you mean? Dippa dippa sorry, those guys are weenies. Am I a weenie? But I hope not. I always pick whatever the other two are both okay with. I don't like being in the middle. Don't talk to me first. You're not first. You're like going second. And you just pick one of the other two. Can I have the glasses, please? Alright, whatever. Here you go. Play with us again sometime, why don't you? You know, going first, it was either this dude first or this dude first. So I picked this dude. So. Oh, my glasses! I said not my glasses. Oh, I'm sorry. These are superior glasses. I think, stranger. I so they must reward you for this newfound sense of power. What is it you need? I need to reach the pinnacle of town. Huh? Well, have you seen what's in there? No. Why not just enter and see for yourself? I suppose I can now. <laughs> Wonderful! Glad I could be of service. <laughs> Thanks. Enter. Yes. Enter. Enter. The heck. Ah, here we go. And here you are, my dear list. May not have seemed as such for you. But you've come a long way. A long, long way. Remember everything from your journey? And you will surely reach your goal. I'll be waiting for you. At the pinnacle. Okay. Can I do anything here? No. Nope. Okay. When the world began to stop, its people were overwhelmed with fear. They were faced with something beyond comprehension. Unable to see a path forward. They began to lose hope. Terrified, they gazed at the stars above and cried out, knowing not of the true nature of their plight. They cried for mercy, for forgiveness, praying that something, anything, would answer. And so we spoke. One shall climb the tower and summon forth a great winged beast. Only then shall time proceed once more. To them it was a prophecy. To us it was a promise. Thus, as the waters stilled and the clouds disappeared, the people became filled with hope. However, we struggled to keep our word. This uh, halting was not our doing. We did not know how to undo it. Worse still, our very presence threatened to invert the balance and turn their halting world into one over in an instant. Oh lord. Ah. And so you were selected. One who would grow to meet our needs exactly. One who would bring forward salvation to a halting world. Your light shining, not too dim and not too bright. 
But in order to truly do anything, you first had to be stripped of everything. Okay. By moving amongst its people, you regained only what you needed. You listened to their struggles, you sold their problems, you played their games, and they accepted you. And one. Oh, wait, 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 this one. This one. And this one. You're almost there, list. Once you are ready, enter the final game. And we shall resume the world's endless march into the unknown. Hello, old friend. Oh, glad am I to see you again. Likewise. Ah, but that's enough time for idle chit chat. Ha. Huh. Ha. Huh. As if there's time enough for anything. Tell me, List. Do you remember? very first thing you did, where you could even see this world, where you could even hear my voice. That was no gift of mine. That was within you from the very start. We take that first step from before your journey began, and you fulfill your duty to this world. Oh, fulfill. Fulfill. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, that was so good. I love that a lot. Holy shit. I love the little characters. I love the little riddle. I love the little story they they did. It was so good. I loved it a lot. Oh my gosh. What now? What now? Can I move? Can I do anything? Can I push any button? Oh. I should press enter. Oh, poses. Okay. Oh, that was so good, though. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. And everyone, stay amazing.